Hello everybody, I'm Enchanted Moon and welcome to my channel. I have an unboxing for you today. It came in this black mailer. I believe this is a new one that I ordered off of Crate Joy. Um, so I won't know until I open it if it is indeed that is what it is. Because I forget the name. I ordered it a while ago. And I ordered it in like a three and I haven't gotten any until now. So, I don't know how they're going to get them all to me in time, but we shall see. All right. All right, what's it called? Oh, okay. It's Ritual. This is the box. This light's a little too bright. All right. It says Ritual by Magical Folk. And it's got like a snake on it. And the bottom is white. Now, this comp Oh, something here, too. Skeleton. Shadow Path of the Divine Feminine. So maybe that's the name of it. I'm not 100% sure if this is it. Or if it's called Ritual. So, it has two names. But it's by Magical Folk. So I think they do a couple different subscription boxes. So, I will find out, guys, for sure, if the name is Shadow Path of the Divine Feminine, or if it's Ritual. All right, so when you open it up, it has this. It's on the box. So, that must be the name. Shadow Path of the Divine Feminine. And it's got a big writing on it. Lots of writing right on the box. And this is what it looks like when I open this. The shadow path is deeply, a deeply intimate journey. What is more intimate than exploring our innermost hopes, fears, wounds, and areas of growth. This series intends to combine the magic of myth and light and dark of the divine feminine archetypes. Together, they offer a look beyond the facet into the shadow aspect of the goddess as she hews a path inward for deeper exploration of their inner self. The intention was to lead you through different shadow traditions with honor and authenticity. Oh God, say that. Authenticity. There we go. Giving all a chance to connect with the their unique past, present, and future, whether guided by ancestral energies or personal sense of enlightenment. Rituals offered. The rituals, offerings, and prose are mindfully crafted to foster a personal connection to the goddess as a means of building a more intimate, profound understanding of self. You are encouraged to be fully present in your senses, your experience in a journal, so you experience in a journal so you can dictate your own path and set personal meaningful intentions you will be provided with established knowledge and long-standing wisdom for guidance and at times structure but ultimately you are both the student and the teacher as a daughter of the divine your birthright is one of intuition Use all your senses to na navigate the shadow so your innermost self can be born of light. Ultimately, rituals are not formulated like cake recipes or algebra. The objective is to avoid getting lost in perceived shoulds of ritual and find yourself in magic. So that is what that says. And like I said, it's in the box, which is pretty cool. All right. And then in here, it's a big piece of papers. And it says Ritual by Magical Folk with the snake as well. And I'm sure this contains spoilers. So I will not get into this until the end. So we will see what they have in store. And what month this is. So the first thing in here is a package with some black feathers. Let me see if this lighting is... Oh, that's even worse. All right. Black feathers right there. Okay. It's like three or four of them in there. 
Okay, and then we got a oh, post-it notes with the magical folk, their snake. So you got a decent sized notepad. It looks like post-it notes. Yeah, they're definitely post-it notes. That's cute. So we have that. What else we got in here? We have... Ooh, these look like awesomely made candles here. Hags Taper. I think that's what it says. Magical Folk Apothecary Hags Tapers. Hedge Witchcrafted Dressed and Charged. Hand Wrapped Bees Wax and Mullen Taper Candles. So, they're beeswax, and it looks like it's pretty cool with mullen all on them. And they are connected, so you might have to cut them, or... That is pretty cool. Really nice, witchy candles. Alright, we also have a package of herbs. And this says Bone Mother. Oh, Ritual Tea. Russian Caravan Tea Blend of Select Indian, Chinese, and Sri Lankan Black Teas. Shadow Work, Truth, Wisdom, and Hag Crone. And this is the package. All right, what else is in here? What else we got? We have this black... Sachet tied with a ooh, with a pretty pretty bow. That's so cute. So let's see what's in this. I love when things are tied to pretties. Pretty pretty. Okay. So in here, it looks like we have Bone Mother perfume oil. In this black perfume bottle, Bone Mother, Intentional Perfume Oil. And then we also have it here, looks like Bone Mother Anointing Oil, Gem and Bonticle Infused, Crone Magic, Otherworldly, Blessings, Death Work, Ancestral, and Protection. We have this and it's got the dropper and it's got lots of herbs in there and then the last thing in here is baby yaga eggshell ritual powder so we have that all right and let's see if there's anything else in here. Okay, there's one last thing. And it says, Exhale, Hedge Witch Crafted for Clarity and Release. Um, vanilla Mint Lip Balm. Okay, so we got some lip balm. Right, that's all that's in here. I don't remember the price I paid either, so I'm going to have to look that up for you guys. All right, so we got perfume oil, lip balm, eggshell powder, oil, some tea, some candles, paper, and some feathers. Now, and we have this paperwork. So let's see what this says. All right. I love how cool this paperwork is. It says, Baby Yaga, Shadow Path of Divine Feminine. It's kind of hard for me to read this. Baby Yaga can come as a stork surprise, stark surprise for those who have grown accustomed to the trope of the goddess of beauty, Baby Yaga, 
is not the goddess of fairy tales. She is a wild woman, an Amazon to stand the test of time under the elements and brave the shadows. Also known as Bong Legs, she poses frightening figure. Her statue is described as skeletal. Her iron teeth are said to jout out like to the skies. Her hands have a light that it's so got. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot really make out this font. Really, really hard for me to make that out. So I hope you under. I read the best I can on that. All right. So on the back, it has this, and it says ritual offerings, ritual tools, initial initiation, initiation ritual prints. Understanding the Shadow Path, Bone Mother Ritual Print, Digital Editions, Myth and Lore, Lunar Cycle Rituals, Journal Prompts, Energy Attunement, whatever that means. And then this says, Understanding the Shadow Path of Lilith. And then there's a down, Download Digital Content. So this, I'm gonna, there's a lot to read here, so I'm just gonna freeze it here. If you hold it and you guys wanna freeze it here, you can read it. And then that's the back. And then it goes here with the Baby Yaga Bone Mother Ritual. So they give you the whole ritual here. Initiation ritual in the back. Or the rituals tools. So basically the ritual tools is what's in the box and they give you the ritual. All right, so like understanding the path of Lilith. All right, so. Hags taper candles. And it says for Baby Yaga, Crone Protection, Saturn, Fire, Courage, Protection, Divination, Warding, Consecration. Dripping, dripping, dipping or wrapping mullen and beeswax is a traditional pagan practice. These hag taper candles symbolize inner light, guidance through the darkness, protective fires, and devotional flames. Governed by the Saturn, mullen is a powerful energy for fortifying boundaries, fostering spiritual growth, and understanding and devoting yourself to Baby Yaga's path. And it says to, to commune with Baby Yaga, select bones and curios that correspond with Baby Yaga's and hold meaning for you. Spread your curio, curios at the base of the candle. Light the wick and interpret how the wax drips and splashes on your bones. Use non-flammable items that you don't mind getting wax on. These candles are highly flammable, so fire safe measures must be taken. Prepare a cleared space with plenty of ventilation and no objects or furnishings hanging above or besides these candles on a fireproof surface such as a baking dish or a band wrapped in tin foil for candles before lighting and then it has the bone mother devotional perfume oil offer devotional to baby yaga as a priestess of her medicine and scholar of her magic the earthly Harvest scents of elderflower, sage, lavender, and oak moss will ground you as you commune with the primal goddess. Bone Mother Ritual Oil. Ask the Bone Mother for her blessings, guardianship, and guidance through the shadows and into the other world. At the border of here and beyond, gather around Baby Yaga's fire for profound wisdom about life, death, and rebirth. There you can commune with ancestral spirits, seeking wisdom, truth, and healing of the mother mine with the great mother's medicines and that is created with avocado oil as the base moss bonset mugwort wormwood agrimony birch mandrake caution even though we use a tiny bit fragrance and that's what it says 
Okay. Fragrance and that's what it is. Okay. And then it goes into the lip balm. You must choose your words wisely when communing with Baby Yaga. She sees past the facilities and pleasantries. Baby Yaga knows the truth, holding you accountable for honoring yours. Lip balm is flavored and scented to foster mental clarity and encourage clarifying breaths during meditations. Pretty cool. It's a healing blend of mint, vanilla, and skin nourishing emollients, which is shea butter, olive oil, beeswax, mica, and flavoring and fragrance. Then the Russian Caravan Ritual Tea. During ritual use, you can share a cup of tea with Baby Yaga, grounding yourself as you exchange energies, or brew a perfect cup to place it at her altar you have devoted to Baby Yaga. Very cool. And then it goes into the eggshell powder and chicken feather curios, which is this. Now, uh, acquired by from their very own flock of chickens, you can trust these eggshells and feathers are naturally and ethically sourced. So that's awesome. Both eggshells and chicken feathers are widely used in magical folk for protection and purification, strengthening magic barriers. Eggshells are used to cast circles and set boundaries around the home and garden. When creating a perimeter around your home, eggshells nourish the earth and are safe for the environment. Chicken feathers are not effective for warding and banishing. Not only effective for warding and banishing, like eggshells, they are also associated with purification and cleansing. And the egg shell also contains sea salt, flour, and garlic powder. So those are all the items that came in the box, I believe. And then they give you the ritual, like I said, so that you can do, which is nice. So they give you all the items that you need and they give you uh, additional downloads. So I'll find out what that is on here. I'll leave that in the information in the description below. And I will also leave you the price and what month this is in the description below, because that all determines on what I think of it. Right off the bat, I like that it's a spell, and it's a ritual, and that it's designed for a specific shadow work. I like that. I like everything about it. It also depends on the price. I, I like all the items. I just want to make sure it's a, the value is worth it. And I'll leave the description below um, where to get this box, the price, and all that good stuff, and what is included in that download. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to this channel, please hit like, subscribe, and notification so I can get more of these new videos out to you guys.